What's up Trainiacs? Welcome to this week's Triathlon Newsday Tuesday. In this week's edition of Triathlon Newsday, USA Triathlon announces the dates for National Triathlon Week. And other than that, it's largely just Iron Man, Iron Man, more Iron Man, which got some comments on about how it is fairly telling about the state of our sport in the world. Let's do it. Welcome triathletes to Triathlon News Day Tuesday, where every single Tuesday, as long as I remember, and there is news to talk about, and I'm not traveling, we talk about the goings on all around the triathlon world. As always, make sure you stick around to the end, where everyone's favorite part of Triathlon News Day is a story from the Trainiac community, a story from you. And as always, full links to everything we talk about will be in the description below. Let's start off with USA Triathlon, the national governing body of triathlon in the United States, announced the dates of the third annual National Triathlon Week, which is going to take place this year between June 24th and June 30th. Now essentially, this National Triathlon Week is really just a social media campaign where USAT encourages people from all around the world to post about triathlon using the hashtag TriWeek. And in this, they have different days for different things in triathlon. So they have a swim day, a bike day, a run day. They have a My Time to Try day celebrating the program where they are encouraging new triathletes to get into the sport. They have a member appreciation day and it culminates on the weekend with race weekend where everyone is encouraged to post about their races. Now I certainly appreciate that USAT is doing all that they can to bring new triathletes into the sport because as they said, the CEO himself said, is they need to do a better job of being more than just an insurance company and this is one of the ways that they do that. Now moving over to the Ironman announcements that's happened last week. Ironman World Triathlon Corporation announced that they would make the theme for this year's series of Ironmans Ohana. Now Ohana means the bond between you and your extended family, those people around you who are very, very close to you. Now this culminates over the course of the year at obviously the Ironman World Championship in Kona where the Ironman World Championship has been since its third annual occurrence in 1981. Now, further announcements from Ironman last year is that the World Triathlon Corporation will be acquiring the world's largest fun run. This is the City to Surf event held in Australia and they've acquired this and three other races from nine events and entertainment. The City to Surf sees 80,000 participants run all the way to Bondi Beach and this acquisition of events as opposed to say publications or broadcasting, things like that, is just kind of a further indication of WTC World Triathlon Corporation, the company that owns and operates Ironman, committing to what they do best and that being holding events. Over the last few years, they've gradually sold off things like their publications and focused more and more on events. Now, what this says to me, actually largely that today's Triathlon News Day is so focused on Ironman is that while organizations like USAT are holding things like My Time to Try and holding things like National Triathlon Week, the driver of our sport, the big 10,000 pound gorilla in our sport is Ironman. Without Ironman, our sport would probably not be growing. And to that extent, Ironman itself is not really growing that much if you take out the growth that is happening in Asia. So here's something to consider that isn't really news related, it's more commentary based. Maybe I should get this back on for that. Is that while there are a lot of people out there that really rag on Iron Man for being a huge multinational corporation worth hundreds of millions of dollars, it is the driver of our sport and it's the reason that so many people get into our sport. And while there is the obvious bad side of having a company that is driven by money and financial results, the good side is that it changes lives probably more than anything in our sport. So 
I think we have to put that in context when we start thinking about Iron Man being this big, bad corporation. Frankly, I think that the good far outweighs the bad. But I'm interested in hearing what you think about Iron Man being this 10,000 pound gorilla in our sport, so let me know in the comments below. Now, in race results, again, all Iron Man all the time. Half Iron Man St. Polten occurred in Austria with Franz Loschke winning on the men's side and Sarah Svensk winning on the women's. In full Iron Man racing, probably the hardest Iron Man branded race that occurs Every year around the world, Ironman Lanzarote happened over the weekend with Frederick Van Leerd, former Kona winner, winning on the men's side and Nikki Bartlett winning on the women's side, being the only woman to race under 10 hours. That's how hard this race is. And finally, Ironman Brazil happened over the course of the weekend and Andy Potts won on the men's side and former podcast guest Sarah Piampiano crushed the field, winning by 23 minutes over the next closest woman. Podcast update, we just released a podcast on Sunday with Paul McKinnon, the balanced runner, the man that has been helping me with my running technique, bringing it down 20 seconds on average per kilometer at the same heart rate, really good chat with him about running, his dog, his mustache, and how Kim thinks that he's totally hunky. And this week we've got an excellent lineup recording a chat later today with Chelsea Sidero, one of the fastest rising stars in triathlon, and tomorrow with Cam Wharf. We're gonna find out if he actually hates me or if he is just obsessed with me. My vote is for obsessed. Now, let's get into the Trainiac story of this week. It's a great one, and it goes, my name is Miguel Torres. I am 27 years old, and I am from a small town in Mexico called Metepec. I used to be really overweight, and I had terrible habits that led me to an addiction at the age of 23. With a very depressing life, I entered rehab to overcome my drinking problem. I used to drink every single day, smoke a pack of cigarettes, and I had no purpose. After a year of sobriety, I entered my first 5K with no training, no conditioning, and no idea what I was getting into. I finished that 5K in about 50 minutes. It was awfully painful, but crossing that finish line, it made me feel alive. It made me realize that a healthy lifestyle was way better than getting drunk. A few months later, I did my first 10K, then a half marathon, and I started to love the endurance world. That's where triathlon came into my life and I signed up for my first sprint triathlon which ended up being one of the best days of my life. A few months after that first triathlon, I watched your 2017 Kona recap which is the best video I've ever seen on YouTube. Thank you very much and thank you videographer Mel for making that. It was so inspiring that my heart burned. I decided that I wanted to do something that I never thought that I could. I was going to become an Ironman. Going from addict to Ironman is now one of my greatest dreams. For me, it's more than a race. It's about transforming myself to what I've always wanted to be and leaving behind all that I used to be. I signed up for a 70.3 and trained for over a year and on September 30th, 2018, I finished my first Ironman branded event. I crossed that finish line with tears of joy and fulfillment and it was everything I wanted and worked for. In those 70.3 miles, I left all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities behind. I left the addicted, overweight, irresponsible version of myself behind and I was reborn. I'm currently building up to do my first full Ironman in 2020. Triathlon has changed my life. It gave me inspiration, purpose, and motivation. I love the sport. It is a physical, emotional, mental, and even spiritual challenge, which I strongly suggest everyone should try. I completely agree, Miguel, with everything that you said. This is a great sport, this is life changing. And like I said earlier today, Iron Man helps change people's lives no matter what their background. So I too recommend that everyone give it a try. Thank you very much for sharing your story, Miguel. If you wanna get your story shared here on Triathlon News Day, email me at Taryn at triathlonterran.com. And if you aren't yet subscribed and you like these news days where we come up with them every single week, hit that subscribe button below. Later, Trainiacs.